I was at the U.S. Open, first time I was at the U.S. Open in, uh, I think, nearly a decade. I, I moved to London in 2003 and just never got a chance to, to get back during, uh, during the Open. So I was, A, incredibly happy to be an American at the U.S. Open again. But being an honorary Brit, um, it was a great night. It was a great week. Uh, and uh, our man Murray uh, came through, and it was brilliant to be there. And you were there watching him win his first Grand Slam title yeah. at the U.S. Open. What was that experience like? It was fantastic. I mean, uh, you know, uh, nothing against Dojovic. He's extraordinary, and I, 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 uh, on any other night, would have been supporting him. Uh, but it felt uh, so much like it was Murray's time. Uh, he worked so hard. He's, his, uh, you know, all of us over the last, you know, sort of uh, all the years that I've been in, in London living here and watching him uh, develop and grow and, and get better and better and better, it was just one of those moments where we thought, yeah, this is, this is meant to be. Anything in particular that you identify with as an actor and an individual individual sport like this? Uh, you know, I think there is. I think there are uh, analogies to it. I think the the I've often said that the I think the mere act of being watched, which is true in both professions, changes the game. And it changes. You know, when we're rehearsing in a rehearsal room, it's very different when you then get out on that stage and you're now performing it in front of an audience. And I think that. You know, I've often said to, to, to use that analogy a little bit further to say to, you know, friends, you know, if you go out, you know, with just you and a buddy and you're going to play tennis, that's one kind of game. But if 15 of your friends yeah. come and they're drinking and they're watching, that's a different kind of game. And I think that there is something about that performance nature and that adrenaline that, that, that gets going, you know, when you are in front of people. Um, and I can't imagine what it's like to be out, you know, on a court in front of that many people. How's your game? My game's all right. I play a lot. Strength, I play a lot. Flaws, uh, a lot of flaws. Uh, I'm, I'm, wor I'm working on them. I love the game. I, I love the. Um, there's a kind of majesty to it. There's a kind of um, an extraordinary skill because it's also a. It's not just a physical game. It's a mental game. Um, and I love playing it. And if I can't be playing that, then I'm playing ping pong. Or as our mayor here would say, with wet. <laughs> Your impressions here of this whole event, the Barclays <laughs> ATP World Tour Finals. We're so proud of it here at the O2 Arena. Um, first of all, they, they put on a great show. Uh, they obviously treat all, all, all the guests who come up, up here to the Barclays Suite incredibly well. But, you know, Barclays has a history of, of being incredibly generous uh, and, and recognizing what's important um, in our society, both in terms of sports and, and the arts as well. You know, they've done uh, an incredible amount uh, here in London. Uh, goodness knows through, uh, uh, you know, we get on our bikes, our Barclays bikes, although we, we do like to call them Boris bikes. I know Barclays doesn't like that. But, um, so I think that it's, uh, it's incredibly important that uh, the corporations, that banks, that, that uh, these institutions recognize how important these events are for people. And if you look at this house tonight, it's completely packed. Yeah, it's, it's a tr tremendous representation of our sport. Yeah. Usual suspects, yeah. American beauty. They are cult classics, not just around the world, but also in the locker room with the tennis players. Does that give you a little extra sense of pride that the players that you love watching love your skill and talent so much? Well, you know, when I met uh, Andy Murray for the first time at the U.S. Open, he, he, he mentioned that, that Suspects is one of his favorite films. And, you know, that, that's the, you know, I, I'm so lucky to be able to do what I do. And the fact that, that, that some things I've done have, have stood the test of time and people still like him uh, means a lot to me. Kaiser Soze <laughs> surely <laughs> withstands the test of time. Kevin, thank, thank, thank you. you so much. And Good it's so great you, to hear Thanks. that you uh, care about our sport. Yeah, yeah, Thanks you for bet. supporting you the bet. event. Thanks, man. All right. See you later.